Okay, we're live. Just getting the camera right. All right, looks like we're straight. Bob's upside down. All right here, buddy. And we'll wait for a little while for people to come in, and I'll get my chat room set up. Hey, Amy. Happy first day of no work for you, girl. I hope you're happy about it. It's cold out there. Okay, woohoo, that means you are happy. Hey, Judy. Hi, Kat. Hi, CB. Amy quit her job so she can stay home and play with me now, <laughs> which I'm really hunt happy about. Hi, Delina. Scavenger hunt. Yeah, I'm going to work on the journal today because tomorrow night I think I'm actually going to do a couple pages if I can. Hi, Joan. <clears throat> so my, not much going on around here. It was a really quiet weekend. I did a lot of binge watching. That's what I did. Hi, Gail. Is the list out yet? No, I'm going to read over it real quick, and we're going to make some finishing touches. And then I'll get it typed up either later on today or first thing tomorrow morning. And probably put a link on Twitter and maybe come back and put it on this video. And then, of course, tomorrow night's video. I'll go ahead and put the link on there. And it'll be like it was last year. Um I'll do a Google Doc that everybody can go in and just download it and print it off themselves about time. Oh, my God. I was right on time today, Eileen. I haven't seen you in forever, Eileen. Hi. I've been missing you a lot. She'll be here shortly, I'm sure, Judy. Hi, Mindy. I did like whatever that was you showed this morning, Eileen. That was cool, that patina thing. What was that? Is that some sort of um, software that you downloaded that you print out or what? Hi, Dorothy. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're having a great day. I was going to do something on Twitter, and I thought, well, hell, I'm going to be live here in a few minutes. I might as well just say happy birthday I'm not going to sing, though, because I'm not much of a singer, and you wouldn't like it if I did sing, so, yeah. Yeah, today is Dorothy's birthday. We won't ask her how old he is, but she has admitted that she is probably the oldest bib, and I think I have to agree with her because I have a general idea of her age. It's been quiet, but nice. See, that's a perfect um, birthday for me. Anything that's quiet where I can just hang, I'm good. Hi, Shauna. You downloaded some patina papers at Patty's stream yesterday. Okay, cool. I miss Patty's stream, man. I slept yesterday. Um, Wolf Princess is Amy. She's my neighbor. She's Lane's wife. You guys hear me talk about Lane here and there. Hi, Joyce. You may be a first time viewer here, so if you are, welcome and thanks for coming. You know what I want? I don't know if you guys saw um, Barb's stream last week. Hi, Orla. I think it, well, not last week, the last time she streamed, or maybe it was the. Um, Time before I don't know but she showed those rice papers that she ordered oh my god they're so beautiful and I think about ordering them and I think what do you do you'll just hoard them because that's what I do it's from Etsy it costs about two dollars for about ten of them that's cool and you download them and then you have to print them off yourself or are they just you can use them for your digital art but I slept a lot this weekend. Get the rice paper, some joggles. Okay. Because I haven't been ordering anything. I mean, honestly, I have nothing to show today. 
I have ordered nothing in weeks and weeks and weeks. I don't know why. Um, I just haven't. So it's about time because I know I've got some books in my Amazon cart. And Scooby was very generous in her Christmas card. And so I've been saving up to get myself some um, watercolors, some green watercolors. Hi, Imelda. Um, so, yeah, I've decided when I opened the Christmas card, I thought, okay, it's time to go shopping, dang it. And I put the property tax check in the mail today. That's enough to make you want to vomit. You have yet to print. See, that's just it. The printer ink is so damn expensive. Are you saving anything? Hi, Kathy. So today I thought what I would do is take some of these um, jelly prints and magical papers and stuff that I make and then I just hoard um, and trim them out. And there's Scooby. Scooby, I just said... I got your card, and thank you so, so much. You're so kind. You're so generous. Thank you. If you were here right now, I would hug you around the neck and kiss you on the lips, which you may or may not like. But anyway, um, I'm going to get myself some watercolors. Surprise. Um, hi, Elaine. I did. If you came in earlier, I didn't see you. I've got buffering. Does anybody else have buffering? All right, buffering's gone. I hope they don't jack with me today. Hi, Lane, if I was buffering and you didn't hear me. Um, anyway, I'm going to get myself some watercolors. So I'm going to go through. Okay, I had to pull out my last year's scavenger hunt book. Um, and I like the way I bound this. So I don't, I'm having mixed emotions now because I like this traveler's notebook kind of binding where you have the elastic and it keeps the book shut. So I don't know if I want to bind it because I need to bind um, the watercolor pages that we um, cut at Kathy's house the other day. I still haven't bound them. We did get it all torn out. And I think I'm going to do four signatures for it. Because if I, oh, let me pull out a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Because um, if you tuck them inside, then the middle section starts sticking out so far that I thought, well, if I do four, then it's a nice little journal. And let's, let's see, there's how many surfaces? Two, four, eight times four. So there's like 32 surfaces you just got out of buffering Ugh. i hope they don't jack with me today you just ordered an empty watercolor tin and empty full pans this morning lucky you um you've never made a scavenger hunt journal hi Brittany. um if you haven't I'll, I'll just show you what we've done in the past anyway i've got to bind this and then i thought well I'll go ahead and bind the scavenger hunt with just like a pamphlet stitch with either three or five holes. Um, okay, I will definitely be hugging and smooching on you, Scooby. You do have a scavenger hunt journal, Eileen. It's sitting right here. I still haven't sent that. I will I will get that in the envelope out tomorrow. It will go in tomorrow's mail if it kills me. I suck so bad. That's all I can say. Hi, Holly. Um, anyway, so I'll just show you what we did last year. I put out a list, and I'll, I'll publish it tomorrow evening on the New Year's Eve Streamathon. Um, and if you're not familiar with that... Um, Jean puts together a list of people <laughs> geez, um, that stream around the clock starting tomorrow morning at 530 with Mary Atelier. And then Dee, Dee comes on and I haven't looked at the schedule to see um, who follows. But every hour, hour and a half, I don't know. I think they're hour and a half segments, maybe two hours. I don't know. 
for the next 24 hours, somebody from our group will be streaming. And the content can be anything anybody wants. But in the past, I have um, sponsored a scavenger hunt. And most of you are familiar with this. Um, but you'll get a list that you can um, print off. I do a Google Doc. And I'll put the link both on Twitter and on the videos, this one and tomorrow's. And then if you want it, you can just contact me and I'll go ahead and get you the link for it. But it, yeah, it's just a link that takes you to the Google Doc and then you can download it and print it off yourself. And it's last year it was 70 items that you had to collect and put in your book. And my idea about this was that, you know, to somehow get creative. So this one would have been like just postage. And if you want, you can just slap the postage in the book. But I just thought it's fun to get creative and make a page out of a prompt. So um, one of the prompts was something you're grateful for. Um, collecting food labels. I don't know if this, this might have been graffiti, but this was a fun page. So that's pretty much it. I try and turn the um, prompts into just some, making something fun. And sometimes if I like the prompt, I do it more than once. Yeah, and it, everybody in chat, today is Dorothy's birthday. So wish her happy birthday. She's spending her day with us, which makes us lucky. So you just get to use the junk that you collect up. And I try and make it easy enough for everybody so that you're not having to go out and look for a bunch of stuff. But I try and do a few that are kind of hard where you really have to go out searching. Um, okay. Here, let's get real about this Eileen and the journal crap. She wasn't going to do it to begin with. She just says that crap to make me feel guilty. And it worked like this much. But this was actually a page of trash, which I thought was really fun. It was stuff that I'd cut off. Um, so I, I encourage you to get really creative with the prompts. This was um, autographs. I don't remember if that's on this year's list, but this was fun because they're not really autographs. These are stuff I made up from people who I wish I had their autograph. Rod Stewart. Um, oh, who's the good looking Sean 007? You're doing the nail clippings and the gold candy wrappers. Okay. Jordan Peterson. Queen of England, George Clooney. Um, so I kind of like that page, and I wouldn't mind doing that one again because it was fun. This was a useless fact. Did you know that the word, word gorilla is derived from a Greek word meaning a tribe of hairy women? Now, that is an amazing useless fact that everybody should know. Exactly, Kathy. I make you save your trash and glue it down. That probably was in honor of Eileen. This was make your own paper doll. So, yeah, you can kind of see, get the idea of what um, candy wrappers. We're definitely doing that one again. A coffee page, a tag. Oh, I got to get, oh, I hope I didn't wash my shirt from the other day because I think I put a fortune from a fortune cookie in there and I went to lunch with my brother and got it already. I have an advantage because I know what's on the list. So yeah, so you can just kind of see, be as creative as you can come up with. This, um, I shouldn't have put this in my scavenger hunt book. I should have put this somewhere else. I might take it out. But this is Lena sent me this. I think one of the prompts was artwork from a fib. And Lena painted this. And this is Eileen's um, little, what do you call it? Your profile picture. So that's Eileen's profile picture. And she did this on stream, and it was way fun. 
And she did it in the, I think the Paul Rubin glittery paints. It's very cool. And it's in the wrong place because I have to get this book out to see it. That's it. It's not staying in this book. I'm taking that out. It's going somewhere else. Okay. It's a doll that Eileen made. And I'll write fib art removed. Because that's really too awesome to keep in this book. This is probably the last time I may ever look um, in this book. And then this was a list of people. After you finish it, I have everybody contact me. Tell me their name. I put them on a list. And then at some point, and I don't have a deadline yet. Um, at some point, I think it was, was it March? That's funny, Devin. Hi. <laughs> Your fortune is lady who wants shirt loose fortune. <laughs> What's the name of the drink? Um, is it dancing? Hi, Picola. It's dancing wenches or something like that. Wasn't it dancing with wenches or? Yeah, it's going to be d dancing with wet wenches, I think. Is what my drink this year will be. So we're going to make a journal for me to put my scavenger hunt stuff in. And all I did, honestly, was pull out. This is how I store. Like the jelly prints and everything. So I'm going to go through here and we're going to pick some. And these ones that are out. Oh, this was a clean off sheet. Clean off sheet clean off sheet which probably should have already gone in the trash this is magicals magicals i don't know what um magicals that's with grab a guy gold that's way cool that may be too nice to use in the scavenger hunt this one i won't mind using but i'm going to try and use like text weight paper and then this i'm going to use for the cover I've been kind of saving this one because I really, really like it. And I think this actually is watercolor where I added salt and then some gauze. But this came out really cool. So I'm going to use this for the cover. I'll put that over there. But that one will be a good sheet. Okay, and last year I counted. I had like... Um, those are too small. I think I used 15 um, sheets in my journal last year. And I'm going to um, use 15 again this year because it was a good size. Maybe a couple of sheets too much, but yeah. Anything small like this, I'm not going to use, obviously. And it's mostly on, oh, I like that one. Um it's mostly on cardstock, so yeah, we won't use those unless I do a teeny tiny journal. I like that one. All right, so that's the first one I know for certain I'm going to use. That's the second one. Ah, this, some of these are just too dang pretty. Some of these are Paula's, actually. This is where I got these. I thought they were all bigger than this. All right, this one I definitely will use. So I've got one. And I'm, I'm picking the ones that I don't like that much because they're going to be covered anyway. You're only going to see pieces of them. So there's three, four. That one I'm going to save. That one might be too pretty. That one I don't mind using. Five, six, seven. All right, there's seven sheets. And that's card stuff. Well, I don't know. I'm going to use that. It's a little bit heavier, but I'm going to use it anyway. All right. I lost count, so let's see. Count again. You like this circle one? Hey, Barb. 
Um, hey, Norma. Anybody else I missed? Hi, Artful Studios. I think I got everybody. All right, let's count how many we got. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I'll use some of these ugly ones. 14, 15. And then the backs of them are going to be blank. And that's fine. I don't really care. So let me, those are too pretty to use, I think. So I'll just hoard those. The circle one, that actually, that gray one, this one actually is a, a stencil that I cut. It is, it is. All right, let's measure this. See how big the book. Look, Eileen, get your ruler out. I um, haven't decided yet, Elaine. We're going to decide here in a little while. All right. So the cover is just about nine, probably by 12 then because it's watercolor paper. Okay. So if I just fold the eight and a half by 11 inch sheets, they're going to be fine. How did you cut that stencil so accurate? Well, I take, um, do you, you know, those um, vinyl, Binders. Let me see if I can find one real quick. I think I have one in here so you can kind of see. They're real soft material. All right, they're these kind of binders that you can get really anywhere. You can get them usually really, really cheap when school supplies come out. And they have, um, some of them have this um, binder in the middle, but most of them just have the pockets. I use this material, and this material is really, really soft. So I just draw the design. And the one I really like, you guys, is the one that I just, it looks like you've just laid a string on the paper. Draw it in Sharpie on here and cut out the blank spaces with your fabulous, very sharp, make sure it's very sharp, X-Acto knife. And you'd be surprised what you can cut by hand. I love to cut them. <clears throat> but yeah, it's this um, binder material. It's sturdy enough but it's soft enough that it cuts just like butter. Butter, I'm telling you. Yeah, use a new blade. That is, I would say that for cutting paper or anything, though. Um, yeah. A good blade makes all the difference. All right, I'll use this back side. I'm probably going to cut this down width-wise, but I'm going to use the whole 12 inches this way. So I know Eileen is... Filling her depends right now, me and my ruler. But the thing about that, Eileen always gets over it. I've cut a lot of my own stencils. Usually it's, um, I know I could use a scoring tool, but I just use the back side of my X-Acto. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. You know, a circle stencil will go good with my journal you are sending me sometime in 2020. <laughs> you want me to cut you a stencil? Okay, brat. Here, look at her. Oh, my God. She drives me crazy. Um, I don't know how long ago it was. It was when everybody was buying those um, stamps and stuff of templates to make swatch sheets for your watercolors. And Eileen said, well, how come I don't have one? So I had to cut her um, a template like this to swatch your watercolors. Have you ever used it? Okay, that's a question for Eileen. 
Have you ever used it? I can't remember. I might have made her this size. I don't remember which size I made her. But I'll bet you a hundred bucks she's never used it. You missed what chapter in art tools? Exacto? Exacto and ruler are a must just for, it doesn't even matter if you do art, just for life. Absolutely necessary. Yeah, I'm going to cut the, I, I don't mind if the cover sticks out further this way, but I'm not, I'm not sure I love it sticking out much this way. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that down to eight and a half. Hi, Debbie. I am so, no, I have not used it. You saw it, you guys. You saw it. Um, I am so sorry I missed the monkey yesterday, Debbie. That was so adorable. All right. I'm going to do a quarter inch off. Well, let's see. Yeah, quarter inch off each edge. And the reason is, otherwise, it won't look like it matches. And you can call me anal. I've been called worse, believe me. All right. I'm going to cut one side and then remeasure because this paper, maybe because it got wet, isn't measuring accurately. And if there's one thing that annoys me is when things don't measure accurately. Straight and level is important. Your monkey was awesome, Debbie. And I did just save the picture. I haven't printed it out, but... I did save it because it was so awesome. All right. Keep your fingers crossed that I measured that right and cut it right because Elaine, Eileen will never let me forget it. All right, there's my cover. It's kind of cool that the metallic parts end up front and back. Which way do I want the front? Uh, it's so hard. Remember my word for 2020. <laughs> All right, my measurement is awesome. Surprise. All right, now I'm just going to fold some sheets in half. And they're all eight and a half by 11, so they're good. And I'm gonna alternate where the, the color appears. I might paste some other stuff on there, who knows. And I've never done this. I've always started out my pages with just blank, either black or white or some other color. Hi, Dawn. Um, so, yeah, this might be make it a little bit more difficult for me having to work on sheets that have something on them already. But what the heck? If you're not pushing yourself, you ain't doing nothing. Oh, I should show you guys um, the portrait that I did of my little nephew. Um, I sent it to Dee Dee, and she gave me some suggestions to help me. And, oh, it came out so good. So, yeah, I'm excited to send it to my niece now. And I did a second one that she hasn't critiqued yet. So, hey, Jamie Edge. That one day I must have been using that same stencil over and over and over, right? I would never have used these sheets otherwise, you guys. So this is probably a good use for them. Because you're really kind of too pretty to throw away. Mm. 
And we'll see. If it doesn't work out and I don't like it, you'll hear me whining about it for the next three months while I'm doing this. I think the deadline, what do you guys think? Is 30 days enough for the deadline for the scavenger hunt? Some people have it done like in two weeks. And if you've never seen a pamphlet stitch done, see this one's nice because it went through the paper, so both sides is colored. Okay, those are all folded. Stay right here. I'm going to go um, find that portrait so All right, and I have to send it to Dee Dee. Oh, I didn't bring the original in. Oh, well, you'll get the idea. Anyway, this is it after Dee Dee has critiqued it and um, had me make some changes. So I'm pretty happy with it. It looks like the little guy for sure. So, and then I've done a second one because this is going to go to my great niece because this is my great, great nephew. Um, so I went ahead and I was going to do a second one with a little bit different skin tone. I haven't finished this one yet. Um, I still got some shading to do on it. And I'm going to send it to my niece, which is her grandson. But Dee Dee's feedback was awesome, amazing. And then I'm going to do the same little boy in a different pose on... Um, Tone tan. Thanks, you guys. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, I think it's, I think I've done one or two portraits before, but I don't know. I just feel like I have gained skill because I'm really feeling good about it. I really am. So let me double check. Two, four, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay. Yeah, Jamie, Eileen made me put nail clippings, mail it out before his 21st birthday. She's really just being a pain in the ass today, isn't she? <laughs> I'm going to get that out today, Eileen. I promise you. Well, it, it won't go out till morning, but I'll get it packaged up today. I don't know why I've been so lame about doing that. I have no clue because that I'm not, I'm usually halfway decent about getting stuff out but in this is instance I pretty much suck so all right I'm hoping this will work we occasionally I'll get two white sheets to do my own thing on so I think that's going to work out good I'm hoping this isn't too many sheets Because last year we had 70 prompts. All right, the center will be that. Now, as you add stuff to the book, the book grows. Is that one of the sheets? I guess it was. Yeah, I'll just put that in there. Because that'll be the beginning. No, I actually... Uh, I would prefer... 
And you guys are going, what are you agonizing over now? Because I'd rather have two white sheets at the beginning <laughs> for my list, right? This is important stuff, you guys. All right, let's do this. Let's see if I like this. We're going to flip the book before we stitch it. That's always a good, good idea. And I'm going to trim it, but I have to flip through it. So this is what the book will end up being like. I love that cover. All right. See, some of these pages, it's like, oh, do I like those next to each other? I don't know. That one and that one next to each other are okay. Those are okay. It's going to be tricky. Those are okay. Yeah, I can work with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to deal with that. But oh, these I like together. And then the inside. I'll add more color to this, I think. Okay, I'm okay with the, the way those pages fall together. I'll somehow figure out how to work with it. And just because I'm anal, and I know most people probably don't care, I'm gonna go ahead, I wonder if I should put a new blade in my knife. Because I wanna do it before I stitch it, right? but I'd like to trim these pages up. Hi, Lizbeth. Okay. The secret to trimming a book, and I'm going to go ahead and do it, even though this blade is somewhat sharp, I'm going to go ahead and get a really sharp blade. Buy exacto blades in bulk. I do. This is just my handy little container that I keep in here. Okay, sharp blade. Number one important thing. And see, by doing this, you end up fixing your crooked folds, everything. And it satisfies your anal impulses, right? And when I do this, I'm not really pushing. I'm letting the sharpness of the blade cut the paper. I'm not pushing at all. If your blade is sharp, it'll come out perfect every time. Now we should have a really nice, look at how nice and even that is. <laughs> There's something very satisfying about that to me. Other people probably wouldn't give a rat's butt. I do. This is trash that I'm not saving, Eileen. Okay. Now, if you are not familiar with a pamphlet stitch, I've got to decide, do I want to do a three hole, a five hole? What do you think? Probably. What do I want? 
three hole, five hole. Or is would somebody is there one that somebody would want to see that you haven't seen before? They're they're basically the same. Um, I'll do five because the book will get a certain amount of wear and tear. So this is how you do it. Look at that, eight and a half, perfect. Okay, so the middle of your book is four and a quarter. So I'm going to draw myself a little dot there. And then the other measurements, I mean, you can go half, half, come in an inch, half it, whatever. These measurements, I'm not doing 11 hole. I'm not doing 13 hole. Um, I could do that, Devin. Start mailing I leave my trash. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to come in like an inch and a half and then probably another inch and a half. And that means the space between that, the second hole and the middle hole is one and a quarter. So that's good. Now, with this many pages, poking the holes is going to be a pain in the butt. It really is. Um, but I bought at Amazon when um, Kathy Berg and Colleen were talking about making their um, New Year's Eve book. I went out and I bought on Amazon a book binding kit, which I've never had. I've bound books for a million years. I've bound them with thread, cord, elastic. But I went out and I looked because they said use wax linen. I thought, okay, for once in my life, I'm going to follow the miserable instructions. So I did. And I got on Amazon and they had this book binding kit for 10 bucks, you guys. You got like these six threads, which the threads alone, you only could have gotten one or two. You get two bone folders, the awl, and several different size needles. So that's pretty darn good, right? I'll open that here in a minute. So we'll deal with that in a minute. But yeah, if you decide that you're interested in doing book binding, um, get on Amazon and look at their awesome book binding little kits because um, – I was shocked that you could get all that for 10 bucks because all I was going to get was the wax. So, and you got to take the little protector off your all. So with any luck, it went through pretty darn easy. Lucky me. So can you see that? It went right through and hold it really tight. This is going through a lot easier than I thought it was going to, you guys. A lot easier. Move your fingers so you don't, put, you know, impale yourself. Impaling yourself is not part of the process here. That went through so much easier than I expected. I'm so not kidding you. I thought I'm going to get on camera and make an absolute utter fool of myself, which there's still time for that. The all is really nice. Do you guys want to see what I used to use? <laughs> I used to use this. <laughs> Just like a darning needle. So, yeah. It's, it is a great kit. For 10 bucks. I was shocked. And I thought all these years I could have had this cool tool and I didn't. I think there's one out in the garage, but I'm afraid to go out in Robert's garage. Just saying. Oh, I forgot a sheet. Well, the cool thing about that, get your, and I knew I didn't put, do the cover intentionally. All right. If you forget a sheet like I just did, it's easy to go back and make your correction. Now I'm going to just take the inside sheet and do the cover. 
because I knew with the cover on it, um, it was going to be too hard. So now I'll punch the cover by itself. Now I have to decide. <gasps> Such a big decision. I have to decide what color thread I want to use. Do I make it all matchy-matchy? Actually, the gold thread might look fun. No, because I use silver. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this color thread. I think it's pretty. Because it's going to show on the back. Got to get this out of its little plastic here. Okay, and I think the standard rule for book binding, I know this is true if you're doing like a um, traveler's notebook, is make it about three times the length of your book. So that's just kind of a, a rule I follow. Because you know you, the way you bind it, you, get, you know over two times, you use in the binding and then the rest is really to um, to tie. So get out a needle. I don't know what difference the needles. Let's just look and make our up our mind. That looks like a good size. I don't know what difference the needle sizes make, but it's kind of fun to have all the needles in this handy dandy little cool holder here are you going to add a charm or two well i actually could that's actually a pretty darn good idea eileen should i go get my charms and see what i have i don't have a huge selection but we can sure look through them and you can always tie it on later All right, this probably isn't all of them, but it's um, the one where I know what it is. It's got a cool key. Oh, my God, that's a funny. Here's one with an M. I got the, I bought that myself. Here's a globe. The globe is kind of nice, and I got a bunch of those. Hey, Eileen, you want me to send you a globe with your journal? If so, start from the outside and not the inside. <clears throat> All right, just checking. Um, here's a bunch of crowns that I have. I can't remember who sent me all the crowns. The crowns are very cool. Some of them, though, belong more on a... Look at all those cool crowns. Oh, I like that one. It's hard. You guys can tell me which ones you like. Um, here's a fish. And it says tuna breath, a flower pot. Hey, a ruler. I uh, see I'm partial. And here's another ruler. Here's some circus tents because I had a monkey. Well, here's another monkey. But this came with one that said, not my circus. Oh, here it is. Not my circus, not my monkeys. And it came with a monkey with it. Maybe that's it. I don't know. There's a Starbucks mug, a koala bear. Love the koala. A postcard, a peanut. Where does this crap come from? An Eiffel Tower. Another monkey that has a little bling on it. I heart South Padre Island. We used to go to South Padre every winter. Here's 
a little heart that says love. Add some wax to the silver charms. Like I don't have enough to do already. Did you say you wanted one of the send the ruler to ET? That would almost be mean, wouldn't it? Okay. And then these, I don't remember. These, some of them are like that shrinky dink stuff. I've had them for years and years. There's a little alligator. There's a little first class mail stamp. I like that one actually. Has a little um, bunny butt. There's a pen. There's another postage stamp. There's Mickey Mouse. Here's a little square with a heart on it. There's an arrowhead. There's another heart. There's some more Mickey Mouse. That must have been, I don't know what I, how, why I have all these Mickey Mouse ones. And the postage stamp ones. And a little house mouse. He's cute. Here's a key. There's a frog. <laughs> Another alligator, another alligator, and another alligator, and some more keys. So that's what I've got. I cute little rulers, right? Yeah, shrinky dinks are really cute, aren't they? And I have multiples of these. So I probably did a project with my pen pal or something. I don't know. So... Any suggestions? The circus and the monkey? Yeah, I just got to remember. You know what, Eileen? I think I'm actually going to tie it on later. Yeah, I think I'm going to tie it on later. And if I get my choice, I've got a bunch of these little hearts. I probably am going to use the globe because I have multiples of them and I can put some wax on that too, right? Why can't I use wax on that? I've got to go to Xandra's shop. Um, she's got the white gold. Add the key and the ruler. Okay. Add a key and a ruler. Key and a ruler. Here's the little ruler. I use this ruler. I like it. And a key. Where was the key? You can a lot of times find these little charms at um, Hobby Lobby in different places. Pretty cheap. Those two look old together. Did you say you wanted a globe or not? Oh, the dogs are pouting because your son left. No. See, and when mine leaves, I usually ball like a baby. I, But yours lives close. You get to see him a lot. Mine lives doesn't live close. All right, so I got my thread now. Hopefully I can thread this. If you had any idea how bad my eyesight was. Ugh. The key unlocks the ruler's jeweler. Journal. Well, look at her being all smart. You don't have a Hobby Lobby near you? I've never looked for um, charms or stuff. I would imagine you can get some really sweet charms on Etsy. So, um, I've never looked, but I'll bet you 10 bucks you can. All right. Eileen says she wants, I'm going to put the um, charms. I'm, I think I'm going to tie them on later, actually, Eileen. So they end up where I want them. Now I have to line all my holes back up. 
And we have a cat. A cat, a cat, a cat. All right, why is this being a pain now? Punch a new hole, I guess. There we go, popped right through. All right, so I'm going to start in the middle hole and thread it through all the way through the cover. She just went over and hunkered down on the other side of the computer. Hi, Painty Girl. You have a zillion charms. You like the charms from Hobby Lobby that are 25 cents? Yeah, I got some pretty cool ones when they were doing the sale. All right, see that? I'm going in from the middle hole on the inside. So that means my knot is going to end up on the inside. If I went from the outside, my knot would end up out here. So that's why I want to go from the inside. My knot will be here and I can cover it or do whatever I want. Pull your thread through and leave, I don't know, a couple inches at least because you're going to end up, um, that's going to be for your knot. So I'll just hold it with my thumb. Now, at this point, it doesn't matter if you go up to this next hole up here or down to the next hole down here because you're going to, it's going to end up the same spot anywhere. So. Um, hopefully this is going to thread through pretty easily. This is probably the biggest pain, the second hole. After they start lining up, they're generally pretty cool. And right now you can still pull it away. There we go. And just move your needle until... Trying to do it on camera is a pain. Because I don't really want to punch a new hole. Because then the pages will be loose, if you know what I mean. All right, let me line it up this way. There we go. I'm going to have to pull it away from the camera for a minute, but I'll show you when I get it back. Okay. Okay. And you can go down through this hole and see then it, that one went through really easy. So after it starts lining up, it's very cool. Very easy. All right. So that's how it looks at this point. Now you're going to go back in this hole, the second hole, and come up, do the same hole. And it should be fairly easy. You're, you don't want to punch a new hole if you can help it because you don't want your pages loose. So just work with it until your needle goes through the same hole. And I came out a little bit different, but that's okay. Okay, I'm thinking here. Went down, up, down. Okay. Now I'm going to jump to this next hole up here. Let me just out and out. Yeah. I'm going to jump to this hole. So leave that middle one alone as you're coming back. That one punched through really easy. I can't see the hole back here. I'm going to have to punch it again just to make sure. Okay, punch it through. Now, 
make sure at this point that your string is pretty tight because this is what's going to hold your book together. And if it's loose, your pages are going to be loose. Hi, Mary. Go out through that second hole. You see the strings loose right there? That's my middle string that I'm going to be tying. So, and then go back in through the center. And hopefully it will go through really easy like that one did. Yay, me. And I normally put the string where you jumped over the middle hole. I usually try and um, put one of the strings on one side of it and one on the other and then just tie that down. Now I just tie a regular all square knot and be done. The knot's not going to be too big. It's not going to be obnoxious. I just dropped something, but I don't know what. So in a minute when I am missing something, remind me. Cut it off. And there's your bound book. Awesome. And this one, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. If you had to at this point, you could trim. Oh, I lost the ruler is what it is. So... I'll find it real quick. But yeah, came out pretty darn good. I probably will use a piece of elastic, like a belly band, to um, to hold it closed. Because remember, as I stick junk in it, it's going to get fat. It's going to be a fluffy book. And at this point, too, if I wanted... Well, you could actually do it at any point. But this one, how I bound it like a traveler's notebook, I could go ahead right now and go ahead and add the elastic and make it just part of the book. Thanks, Holly. Okay, so there's my ruler. There's my key. And I'll go ahead and just tie it on with the same thread. Now I got to get the, this thread through those holes. <sighs> I think Eileen set me up. Ah, the hole's bigger. Whew. Do I want to use both holes of the ruler? No, just one. All right, Eileen, do you want me to wax these now? Do we want to wax them or just leave them old looking? Because these look old right now. Wax it first. Okay. All right, I'll add the elastic. I'll have to go down and find I, I might have some in the other room in here, though. Roxy, do you want to come show the ladies how pretty you are? Roxy, Sir Coxy, do you want to come over and show the ladies? This cat. This cat. All right, what color do we want? Do we want to look at all the colors of wax available? We don't have all the colors of wax available, but we have a fair amount of the waxes. Here we go. And there's your little finger condom. There's pink, blue. Okay, we got to remember that our cover is blue green old denim old denim i think is one of my very favorites um peacock bronze age blue lagoon old silver and indian pink the pinks are definitely out the vintage gold i don't know that it wouldn't show up that much yes let's pick a color you want okay eileen pick the color you need to get waxes. Hi, Brenda. The Bronze Age. Let's see how it's going to work. 
it's a really pretty brown. And if you're smart, you will get um, a finger condom to use with these. Because when I learned, and Shauna probably learned with me, because I don't think we had them when we were using the blue wax. My hands were blue for like two weeks. So you can buy these little, they're called finger cups. I don't know. Um, Amy gave me mine. But they're just little finger covers. And believe me, you'll love yourself for not having... Um, Stain yourself for the next couple of weeks because you look dirty. All right, I'm trying to find just a piece of paper. This will be all right. Uh, wait until I open it. Take a big sniff. Yep. Shauna Sha said, yep. Her hands were stained too. We had fun that night though. Oh, oh smells so good smells so good all right we'll do the let's do the back of the ruler first just to see what we're, it's going to end up doing changes it a nice color gives it kind of a sheen that it didn't have before so that's cool can you guys tell any difference look at my hands already where is that coming from i'm gonna have to seal the outside of this journal, obviously. When these waxes dry, they dry permanently. Um, but they smell just so yummy. Amy, are you still listening? Have you used yours? Because you went to work right after you got yours. So you probably haven't gotten to use yours much. We'll have to come up with projects to fix that. We need to do those journal covers with the um, tape, too, Amy. I still have all that stuff. I just haven't done anything with it. I will give Robert a hug from you. Hi, Jan. Oh, Robin Buff. I thought she was waxing the thread. Um, no, the, these are um, Finnebear, um Art Alchemy Wax. And you can get it in a whole bunch of different colors, Brenda. It's way cool. You must still be out of school. Well, yeah, it stands to reason you would still be out of school. Same with Debbie. It's probably why Dee Dee was able to go see Lil Boo this today for her birthday. And I don't think the these um, charms will keep the smell. But, oh, if they would, this journal would smell yummy from now on. Do you guys want me to do a sample page of all the wax colors? <laughs> we'll just do it right in here, and then I'll have to work on top of it. Here's what the bronze looks like. Kind of a really nice brown with a sheen to it. But more importantly, they smell so damn good. It is the best wax. I have to agree. I I tried, um, what's the other one, the really well-known one that got moldy? Um, Inca. No. Um, starts with a V. I still have them, but I don't use them anymore. All right. I'm just going to get my finger dirty. I don't care. So you guys can see all the colors I have. The blue, ah, oh, this blue is so awesome. And it works on metal, it works on paper. I imagine it would work on anything, but when it dries, it dries permanent. It's way, Inca Gold, yep. Viva Decor, there you go. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Let me get a baby wipe out so I don't be contaminating all the colors. <clears throat> The deco art brand dried out and isn't permanent. Yeah, see, that's just it. These have stayed just as moist as when I got them. They smell delicious. And I, as of yet, they've not gotten moldy. It, I think it was the moldy part that really bothered me about the, um, the Viva Decor ones, I think. 
your e-car is still good and worked great. They may have changed the formula. A lot of us had problems with, um, of course, they'd been out for years, I think. But you had to remember to put a moist baby wipe or something in with them to keep them moist. They were just, I don't know. I don't know if it was packaging or what. That gold is awesome. Um, Z just said that she'd gotten the white gold in, so I'm probably going to go order that one. Yours never got moldy. Okay, Desert Nana saying she put plastic wrap over hers and she never got moldy. So apparently different people had different experiences. Mine did dry out. I never got mold, um, but mine did dry out. The silver is really, really pretty. I might do the edges of the outside of this journal in the silver since I've got the silver already in there. And I'm wiping my finger in between. And everybody said, oh, don't put your finger in things. And I'm sure you probably are maybe carrying bacteria from one place to another. I don't know. But look at that blue. Oh, it makes you just want to lick your paper. Oh, I left the silver out so I could maybe use it on the outside of the journal. The peacock. Oh, this is so pretty. This one was hard to get for a while. I don't know if it still is. But for a while, this color was back ordered everywhere you look. And then I finally got it, I think, from Z. I got most of mine from Z. And they smell so good. No eating the wax, I know. Thanks, Judy. Thanks for the thumbs down, whoever did it. That blue would look great on the gold corrugator. Corrugated paper made us all buy. What corrugated paper? Did I buy it? I don't remember having any of that, Eileen. This little green is awesome, too. They're all awesome. And they all smell a little bit different. They don't, it's not the same smell on all of them. Look at that red. And then when the light hits it, it changes color. It's kind of a red pink. It's just like, oh, that is so nice. And I'm not even a red fan that much. I was napping. Oh, okay. I was pissed when I saw what you'd done. I was just like, why did I have to take a nap? That was yesterday. I napped Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, I think I got a little bit of food poisoning. And ever since then, I've had zero appetite. I just, I don't want to eat anything. But I think tonight I'm going to have pizza, so I'll make myself eat. Those are all the colors I have. Aren't they awesome? Hey, Xandra, I was just talking about your shop that you got. Did you say the white gold? I need to go empty my cart. My carts had stuff in it forever. And I just haven't been spending money. And now the whole thing just smells delicious. I'm just making a journal Z for the scavenger hunt. And this is just a page in it. I just took a bunch of um, jelly plates and magical papers that I wasn't probably going to use otherwise. And so now I'm going to have to work on top of them whether I like it or not. So I'm maybe going to learn something or I'm going to hate myself later. I haven't decided which it is. Some have a little bit on it. Some have none. Now this one, I love that wrinklage on this one. I wish I had a hundred pages like that. Are we having trolls? Oh my God. Play with the trolls for us. 
there is always white gesso. I know. Yeah, I know. But I'm going to try and make myself work on top of them, Z, and see, you know, maybe this one. Maybe it's just so butt ugly that there's no hope for it, and I'm going to have to gesso it. And I like the feel of gesso on paper. But see that? That's pretty. I should be able to work around that, right? So there we go. We've got a page. I think I did 15 in, inside pages, which is make 30, right? Well, no. 60. I'll have 60 individual sides, not to mention the covers of the book. So, and I'm going to try and keep the number of prompts to, um, I'm thinking about 70. Do you guys want me to run through the prompts one more time so we can eliminate some or add some? And then I'll go ahead and probably ink the edges of here and figure out how I want to get scavenger hunt on there. I might just stencil it. 50. 50 what? 50 prompts? All right, so we'll just run through the prompts real quick. Eileen made me add this one. She wants fingernail clippings. I don't care if you cut your own fingernails, if you draw fingernails. I don't care how you get a fingernail clipping. Just you want no more than 10. Oh, my God. I would be happy if you even did 10. Eileen, honestly, I'd be happy if you did 10. All right, here we go. Um, postage stamps, real or personal design, cheese, Lena made me put cheese on there. And that's because last year, I think I was going to, I was maybe a little tipsy. I don't know. Nail polish from a Meg is good, Judy. Um, but rather than say cheers, I yelled out cheese. <laughs> it was funny, but it's just so typical. Um, food packaging. Um, paint skin, you know, like Dee Dee gets off her um, coffee lids, flowers, a tribute to someone, a page of circles. I already have a page of circles. Look at page of circles done. Yay me. Um, a mermaid. You have to use a stencil. Something about your favorite book. Include a cartoon character. Um, lyrics or something about a song with meaning, shoes, favorite or unusual. Now, I don't know how, you know, you're going to have to get rubber stamps. You're going to have to draw it. You're going to have to get in a magazine. But anyway, something about shoes. An ATC, yours or a fib exchange. The, guess who did this one? Amazon logo. Hi, Terry. Um, a checkerboard, an old photo. Brochure from your area, a ribbon, mail, just, and you can do that any way you want. Make up your own actual mail, doesn't matter to me. Um, a ruler, something about a ruler, a puzzle jigsaw piece or a playing card, a vintage ad, an insert out of a magazine, um, and somebody suggested leftover from last year's. Um, scavenger hunt because I have a bunch of leftovers from last year. Um, a flamingo. That's why Eileen isn't playing. Hey, Joycey. Hi, Joy. I think I've said hi to everybody. Um, something about play. And I'm not sure. We might have to take that out because um, so many new people don't know about Roy. So this one, that's a huge question mark whether or not we can leave Roy. And I recommend that you go look at Lena's New Year's Eve prompt last year, but they made her take it down. So, but it was funny as hell. Roy is a blow up doll. Blow up plumber with body parts and crazy hair. Anyway, calligraphy, cookie cutters. I'm not sure about cookie cutters either, but I guess you could draw them. A baby wipe, a bug finger, that's for Joycey. 
a piece of your own art. You have to make a stencil, draw an eye, and I'm not, some of these are probably going to come off, just saying. Draw an eye, use a color you dislike, a hand or a footprint, baby Yoda, a page of white, a pillow tag, a dry cleaning tag, a dress form, a page of swatches, an old dress pattern, page out of a children's book, an apron. I'm not sure about an apron. A lot of these were suggestions from other people. And if you've got suggestions, save them till the end and we'll add them because I'm going to go ahead and weed some of these out. Candy wrappers. Didn't we already have candy wrappers? Well, I don't know. Candy wrappers, a tag, an envelope with stuff in it, money, real or pretend, wrapping paper or tissue paper, vegetable or fruit stickers, because that's been a really fun one for everybody, foil, <laughs> foil, <laughs> I'm a little foil challenge, an animal or an animal print, something out of your trash can, mind map of a color, and if you don't know about mind mapping, go watch Didi Willingham, Society of Idea Collectors. She's great at mind mapping. She even showed a book about it this morning. Bubble wrap, a stick figure, create a t-shirt saying, create a border. Inspirational word or quote, washi tape honor roll, fingernail polish. Well, you can do your fingernail clipping and your polish all in one. Paint with Q-tips. Stamped images, draw what you see, wild card, domino, greeting card, bingo card, wanted poster, newspaper magazine article, newspaper or magazine, random useless fact, because that was fun last year, photo of where you want to visit. Upside down page, two line poem, self authored. <laughs> I already have mine. Yeah, I miss Lena a lot. Sequins. I bought sequins for that prompt. I actually have sequins. I got them at Tuesday morning for no money. Um, finger painting. You could even finger paint with your fingernail clipping, I guess. Vegetable collaged from stuff. Pocket for a tag. You have to create a pocket to put a tag in. A toilet paper flower. Oh, okay, I know what it means. Kind of like the old tissue paper flowers, I think. Something with stitching, four-letter words, a page of four-letter words, a bread bag tag, buttons. Oh, we got that already, so that one's a repeat. And a wanted poster. So that's 86. And I suppose we could have 86. We can have as many as we want. Um. But that's what it's going to be. And then I'll, I'll probably weed it out and get the final list tomorrow. You have wanted poster there twice, too? Hmm. All right. Well, when I'm typing it later on, hopefully if there's duplicates. I know I wanted a wanted poster because the wanted poster, that was so much fun um, from the first. Oh, I do have wanted poster on there twice. Okay, cool. We can get rid of that one then too. So that means we're, we've already weeded down to 84. So I don't know which ones will stay, which ones will go. Um, in the past, I talked about giving bonus points for if you could incorporate two um, prompts into one piece of art your last artsy buy. When you say artsy, do you mean um, supply or? Hi, Allie. Haven't heard from Paula. And Dee Dee and I were talking about that just a little while ago. Um, Dee Dee had sent her a uh, that poster, and she hasn't heard back from Paula. So I hope Paula's okay. And Lena's okay. Um, she's just taking a little break. 
But yeah, I haven't heard anything from Paula. A wanted poster, a good, honest, dependable, handsome man. There you go. You've already got your page, Brenda. I did almost all my pages with more than one prompt. Yeah, see, that's, um, I try to do that too, Gail, is try and incorporate as many as I can. Yeah, Lena comes into um, chats here and there. But, it, you know, these last week or so has been really weird just because it's been holiday. Um, you know, one thing we don't have on here that I was thinking about a little while ago, we need to include a napkin for sure. I know we have tissue paper, but I want a napkin because I already cho chose mine. So if that's cheating, call me a cheater. Um, so, yeah. That's the list. If you can think of anything else you want to add on to it, speak up now or forever hold your peace. Where did I do my little thread? Did I throw that little piece of thread away? No, I didn't. Here it is. Here it is. We'll go ahead and tie the little charms on there, even though they may not be completely dry. They're probably dry enough. We'll tie it on to the spine of the book. Sometimes I feel like I got 10 thumbs. I don't know how far I want this to hang down. And because it's there, it can slide. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Just put it wherever you want it. Is that okay, Eileen? I'll probably put another one on... Um the belly band anyway i will use that napkin on the first page which napkin oh the ones that you um posted those were hysterical all right yeah and then i'll get a belly bound so i don't know if i should um If this gets wet, because this is watercolor, this blue is going to move. So I'm just sitting here thinking, I'm going to spray it for sure. And I don't want to use matte medium on it because I use tea bag. It's on the list. Take a picture. Take a picture of what, Elaine? You mean print out a picture out of your pictures? I actually did that not very long ago, which I never do. I never print a picture anymore. All right. I think I'm going to add some of this wax on the edge of my journal. Just... I wonder if I, I think I'm going to put this silver because I think when I put the scavenger hunt on here, I think I'm going to do it in white ink. What do you think? Now for this much, I want my finger condom. Seth, at, Seth after just released eight new mini stamps. Don't tell me about Seth after. That means I'm going to broke. Is bar of soap wrapper on the list? Bar of soap wrapper? No, but that's actually not a bad idea. Plus, your book would smell really good because of it. That might be hard for some people because if you use like a shower wash, you maybe wouldn't even have bar of soap around. All right, let's see. I'll do it on the back. Well, 
I guess at this point, it doesn't matter which is the back or the front. Yeah, at this point, it doesn't really matter. As soon as I start adding stuff, it's going to matter. I'm using the silver because of the silver in the art itself. I should go back and watch how I did that because that this cover turned out really nice. I like it a lot. I like to ink the edges of stuff. To me, it just makes it look more finished. You don't have to do this. I just like the way it looks. Now I'm all ready for tomorrow. One thing I have to do is I have to get the beast ready. Oh, Eileen, you evil woman. Look at these stamps. I'll be hitting the buy button. Uh, I'll have to come back and get that link later. Or if you want, Eileen, go ahead and um, do a tweet real quick with it on there. So I don't have to come back and read chat later. Not, I don't mind doing that. And in fact, sometimes I do just scrub through the video. Um, to see if I've missed anybody or anything like that. So... Um, yeah, that looks nice. You want the new fresco paints? Dried flower petals. That's a good idea. If you don't have any, that will be a tough one. And I like to add some tough ones just because. Just go to his store. That's a dangerous place, Jan. Just go ahead and say, oh, just go to his store. That is one dangerous place. Seth After's store. Ugh. I do like, I love his art. Um, and I watched Barb um, when she actually went, and he did a demo of the inks. They looked really, really cool. Um and that's what I was going to get Eileen for her birthday, birthday, birthday. Um, but they're not coming out until sometime in the year. You can only get her stamps on Etsy. Stamps, I know everything he, he sells is really awesome. I will agree with that, Eileen. Seth After's products are awesome. Kind of pricey, but... What are you going to do? You're paying for his name. But you know what? He's such a nice guy. If there's anybody out there in the art world who I'd like to see really benefit from having his name on products, it would be Seth After. I just think his imp and I've never met him, obviously, unless he wants to come to Monkey Island, which he's always welcome here. Um, yeah. He's one guy. I don't mind um, him realizing, because he works hard. You know he has to be working hard. I don't mind people like him benefiting, because he seems like a genuinely good egg and a great artist. I mean, I love his artwork. It's so non-traditional, I guess. Ah, this smells so good. Now, do I want to do this edge over here? I don't think I will. Somebody's being really noisy outside. I'm liking my journal. 
the little finger condom must have broke because I got some on me. You will say you're disappointed in his books. Look at Eileen. She's just sitting out there. Just He comes to my local stamp store all the time. Hi, Kimberly. It's really sweet. He's been on my stream several times and Paula too. Yeah, he, he seems like at Z. I, he's one person I wouldn't mind meeting and hanging out with. All right. Just cleaning off my icky caca hands. I think I'm done with that now. And I got to clean up this mess on the table or I will have it on my clothes. And I'm pretty sure if you get it on your clothes, you may not have that great of luck getting it off. So after it dries, because this stuff is permanent when dry. I'm going to have to get a dry one and scrub it off. I don't know why I worry about this sweatshirt, but it's inside out anyway. <laughs> Hope you're not pregnant. OMG. All right. Okay. No more shopping. There you go, Jan. Do I want to do the lettering or do I want to save that for you guys for later? Do you guys want to watch me stencil lettering on? I thought what I would do is go ahead and um, find those other watercolor pages while I've got all this stuff out. Got to make sure it's really clean because this is my um, watercolor paper. And what we did on this was we bought, oh, I don't remember what the size was, Eileen. What was it, 22 by 30 or something like that? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that with me. <laughs> well, this is easy. Get all of the new eight stamps in a set. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, we um, took these giant, huge sheets of watercolor paper. I don't think you need to buy the great big sheets. Um, but the one nice thing was when you folded it in half and then folded it in quarters um, and tore it, and then folded it in half and fold it in half again, you ended up with this really nice size signature. Um, it's what, almost five and three quarters by seven and a half. It's a really nice um, size journal. And this is watercolor paper. I got the big sheet at Hobby Lobby. It was like $8 for that huge sheet. And it's going to make a really nice, perfect little journal. But I thought I'd go ahead and. Now on these, because they're only two sheets. Um, I was just going to do a three hole. Or oh, finger condom broke. <laughs> condom isn't a bad word, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny all right so let's I'm just gonna bind these real quick so you'll get a, a real quick refresher this should go pretty quick so it's seven and a half so three and three quarters would be center and then probably on these three and three quarters probably at one and three quarters in on each side Okay, so that's one and three quarters in on that side. Does that look right? That's two inches. Two inches, yep. So that's what I'm going to do. Your joggles order shipped. Ah, uh, you guys, you're so bad, all of you. Okay, and on this one, I think I'm going to use white thread because I don't, I haven't picked out a, um, what kind of cover I'm going to use. Um, Eileen was talking about using like um, the sticky back canvas for the cover of this. 
I couldn't find any sticky back canvas. So um, I thought I had some burlap, but it, it's not big enough. So um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use to bind this. Um, so right now I'm just going to be getting the signatures ready because I haven't decided yet. Probably just cover um, some chipboard. And then use gaffer's tape. Probably what I'm going to do. This is going to be really simple. Because there's few sheets. And I don't want the holes real big. So I'm going to use the most skinniest needle that they gave me here. That's the skinniest. If I can get the thread through the eye. And on this, I don't even think I'm going to pre-punch the holes. Um, when you're only going through two, I don't I don't think, well, maybe I should. Uh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Getting old sucks, you guys. You can't see for crap. What are you going to do with the watercolor in it? I'm going to watercolor in it. <laughs> I don't know. I, Eileen told me to do it, Jan, so I did it. Isn't that what you everybody does? If Eileen tells you to make a watercolor journal, you make it. You don't argue. You don't use your good common sense. You make the watercolor journal. <laughs> now, on this one, I'm just sitting here thinking. Because the back of this book is going to be bound with gaffer's tape. It's not going to be a big journal. Um, if I wanted the knot back here, I could hide it from the middle of the page in here. So I was just sitting here thinking, I think the second book was two signatures of two big sheets. We are making these for Colleen streams in 2020. Okay, well, there you go. That's what I'm going to do with it. Thank you, Eileen. I think I, on this one, I'm actually going to put the knot on the back side. The knot's not going to be real big. Um, but yeah, so then because the, the spine is going to cover this, you won't see the knot, so they won't have to be on the inside of the, um, book or of the signature, right? So I think I'm going to hide the knot on the back. And when you're doing three, go in the middle, either if you want the knot on the inside, start from the inside and go out. If you want the knot on the outside, start on the outside. Go up to the top hole, then go all the way down to the bottom hole. And this isn't important because we're only really holding two sheets of paper together. So it's not like it's going to get a lot of wear and tear or anything like that. So, um, yeah. Just make sure it's tight. You want your book as good and tight as you can get it. Did you see that? It's really, really, this is the simplest way. And the number of holes I would probably say should be determined by the amount of wear and tear it's going to take and appearance. Um, so that was really easy. Now it's bound. Um, and because the edges are deckled, I would never trim this book. And that's why I decided to leave the signatures two sheets each. Because if it sticks out too far, I would want to trim it. See how far it starts sticking out after a while. That would bother me just because I'm anal and have mental illness or something. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I will try and do all the signatures holes the same though. So this was seven and a half, so three and three quarters, and then two inches out from that. Four and three quarters, five and three quarters. So all the signature holes are in the same place, right? And I think I have plenty of thread left. 
from that first time. And I'm punching the holes so that I know where the holes are. You know what? I've already satisfied to add something with stitching, right? Because I stitched the binding in my <laughs> scavenger hunt journal. So tomorrow night when I stream on New Year's Eve, um, I probably will go ahead and do a couple of the pages for the scavenger hunt. I'll try and gather up the stuff today or tomorrow. Ah, this wax thread, I have to say, is really nice. E.T. is the watercolor she is binding the journal with the sticks. No, Elaine, this is not this. Um, I think they're going to do that tomorrow, aren't they, Eileen? Unless I'm mistaken or I missed it already. If I missed it already, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah, tomorrow. That's what I thought. Colleen and... Um, Kathy, I guess they're going to stream together tomorrow. Um, check Jean's blog. If somebody has a link for it, that would be awesome. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'll remind you again that we're going to do a streamathon for New Year's, 24 hours of streaming. Um, the list is on Jean's blog. But for 24 hours, one of us will be streaming all the time. I'm on, I don't know exactly what time I go on. I need to go look. Um, but I know that I'm on at midnight for the central time zone. Okay, Shauna just said she's on 3.30 central. So I'm going to try and make as many, you know, get to as many of them as I can. Um, what's tomorrow? Today's Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I shouldn't have anything going on tomorrow, so I should be able to attend most of them. But yeah, and it's um, streamer's choice. You get to decide what you do on your stream. Um, I did not submit a supply list because I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. In years past, I've made the, the actual journal. And I thought, well, this year I'll just go ahead and do a, a page out of the journal. Just for the heck of it. But I don't know. You could you could watch people watercolor. I don't know what Dee Dee... Oh, I know what Dee Dee's going to do. She's going to um, talk about and I think work on her comp book. So if you don't know about Dee Dee's comp book challenge, you get to pick a theme specific to you. You get to choose your own theme and then do a composition book, much like the Linda Berry books. And she'll be showing all that tomorrow. So I won't spoil it for her. But yeah, that'll be fun. And I'm looking forward to that. Um, are you posting prompts? For this? Yes, Holly, I will be. Um, I'm going to type them up this afternoon or tomorrow morning. And then I will attach them both to this video. I'll post them on Twitter. And again, tomorrow night um, on that video. And then um, I'll have them done in plenty of time so that the mods will be able to um, put links in. So you guys can go ahead and download it. And But I'm going to try and get it out before that. So if you guys want to start working on it during the scavenger hunt, you can. So I'll have it done early enough. I pr I'm going to try and get it done this afternoon. 
we'll just see how much get up and go I have <laughs> the rest of the day. You'd think I've done a whole lot today. I haven't done squat. I didn't do much over the weekend too. And I don't know who um, suggested on Netflix the um, Wild Wild Country. I watched that yesterday. I binged the whole dang series. Um, there's the cancer and watermark in this paper. That's not just a watermark. That's a freaking embossed, which is fine. I don't care. Cast oh, yeah, I heard, saw that this morning at, at, G, at Dee Dee's that um, Kathy Arbor is going to go ahead and take over Jean's spot. So we're all in for a treat there. I'm psyched about that. I mean, I'm, I wish Jean wasn't sick. I wish she felt better and felt good enough because Jean hasn't streamed in forever. But I'm glad since she's not feeling good that we get a dose of Kathy Arbor. That may be twice this week, which makes me happy because I'm a fan, a big fan. All right, so there's all those. Sewn. So now all I got to do with these, and I don't know, I'm, I, I don't want to um, put the whole book together because I'm seriously considering getting another sheet of that paper and doubling the number of signatures. Um. But actually, this is probably a good size for a journal, a watercolor journal especially. So I probably should just go ahead and finish it. And then maybe I could call that one journal, one miserable journal in my entire life that I actually finished. Because <laughs> there aren't many around here. There's tons of ones I started. All right, Cass, here's Eileen going off a rocker again. Um, Cass will be showing us how to draw a real bunk bib. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Whoever recommended the Wild Wild Country, that was so good. Um, and I'm actually old enough that I vaguely remembered hearing about it and reading about it and stuff. But I couldn't remember any of the particulars or any of the people or anything like that. So... Um, yeah, that it was interesting. And I tried to put myself in those people's shoes, you know, the people who lived up there in Oregon and how would I feel? And I I think I would have felt exactly like the the people who live there. You have 3 hours tomorrow. Yay, Kathy. What are you going to do? Send me your picture, Ali. <laughs> Way to go, Kathy. <laughs> um the Wild Wild Country is about the Rajneesh. Um, uh, they called it a cult um, that came here from India. And the guru guy was named Bhagwan. And they literally took over an entire town in Oregon called Antelope. And... It was a real sort of small, small community, ranching community. So there were few people, but vast amounts of land. And so they bought this land and were going to bring in 10,000 people and build their own city. So for the people who had lived there all their lives and were used to this nice, quiet way of life, all of a sudden these they've got these cult members running around in red dictating everything they were running for the government um you know an entire way of life was going to be ruined and what it actually reminded me of was um i lived in colorado when they um voted to allow gambling limited states states gambling oh i haven't ruined anything for you let yet elaine it's just i'm giving you the kind of the idea of what it's about but um when they allowed limited stakes gambling and, and what that was, was no single bet could be over $5. And there was a little historical mining community right outside of Denver called, um, 
Yeah, this is great. I'm telling the story and I can't think of the name of the town. Um, Central City. Yeah, Central City. Anyway, there were two little towns that voted in this limited stake gambling to revive the town. Well, there had been people who had been living up there, mostly hippies, a bunch of dope smoking hippies, but they were making a living doing whatever it is they did. It was their way of life. They weren't hurting anybody. They were just living life. Well, then you had all these casinos come in and literally taxes went through the roof. The people who had lived there and sustained the town all through the years could no longer afford to live there. Um, to me, it was a travesty. I'm not a huge gambler. I don't have anything against it, but I'm not a huge gambler. But I thought for the people who had stayed in Central City, and um, it was so wrong that these people ended up, you know, maybe they made money on their property, selling it to the casinos or whatever. But yeah, it was kind of that same scenario where these people moved in and then they started fighting with the government and it's six, at least six episodes of about an hour each. Yeah. So it, it was well worth the watch because it kind of brought back memories for me. Cause I remember it. No, I'm not going to tell you how it ends. Well, and if you paid attention to the news in the eighties, you probably knew how it ended. All right, should I go ahead and put the scavenger hunt lettering on this right now? Because I think I'm just going to use a, a stencil. Last year I used, um, those are die cut letters. That was a freaking pain in the ass. But I could do, let me see what kind of stencils I've got. Probably want to do a small one. Have it in here. Nope, not in that one. I'll just look through here and see what stencil I've got. I mean, I could just write scavenger hunt on it and be done. Or I don't have to do anything, I guess. I just like it. Okay, I got my little stencil book here. These are ones that I just keep nearby because I use them frequently. And they're smaller elements that I can... Um, that one's not bad. That's a small one. Let me pull my camera up push this up a little bit and I got most of these from I think wish app I don't remember oh no some of these I got from Amazon under journaling that's a good size yeah I think I like that better than the smaller one I kind of like a serif type if I can find it I could also stamp it on there, but I don't have good white. I'd have to use acrylic paint. You were brain dead in the 80s? In the 80s, I pretty much had straightened up my crap. I'd graduated from college and had a real job. So, yeah, I was behaving myself pretty good in the 80s. From 81 on, 81 is when I got my real job. My first, you know, what I considered a real job where I was making some serious didge and. Just seeing. This one is half inch lettering. Ah, they're the same size. Which one do I want? Do I want the serif type or the sans serif? We're going for this. Why not?
I need to find a better way to keep these, but they're just so handy right here in that book. You weren't even alive in the 80s. Oh, my God. Don't even talk to me. You were born in 1993. That's amazing, Allie. By 1993, I was, well, not, no, I wasn't almost a widow. You're just a baby. So what's the skinny on this scavenger hunt? Well, we're going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and put scavenger hunt. I don't know where, how I want to do the lettering. I think I like it down here. Might as well just do it. But I could just do scavenger straight down, too. Kind of like that idea. Hmm. Look at, there's still pieces of the gauze on here. I think I'm going to do scavenger straight down and not put hunt at all. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, the way I'm going to do that, during your stream tomorrow? Okay, during the stream tomorrow, um... I'm just going to pick out some of the prompts um, that I'll have collected the stuff for. Like I might do the two-line poem or I might make the toilet paper flower. Um, I'm just going to pick some of the prompts and go ahead and start my book immediately. Um, the E and G. Okay. So probably the G is going to be the thickest one. And that is about a half an inch. So just deciding here. I want the edge of it there. You it just got really dark in here. Did the screen go dark too? Sun went away. Okay, that's the center and that's about where I want it. Okay, about an inch in. That's good. I like that. It looked good. It might have been a little easier if I'd done this before I bound the book, but oh well. Doesn't matter. I can always just open the book and do it like this. Probably that's what I'll do. All right, so the letters are a half an inch tall. Yep, and about a half an inch wide, so that's cool. Um, Eileen says, stop, please. Stop what? Stop what? Damn it, stop. <laughs> Safia, is there anything new about that? <laughs> she, I, I think the rulers and the math are finally getting to her. Use some of your painted papers and cut the letters out. Out. Well, the, the only alphabet I have with um, the die cuts I have with um, alphabets are this style, Eileen. I mean, I could use them again, but. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> Use your knife and cut them out. Are you insane? Really, are you insane? I hate fussy cutting. Like, I'm going to sit here. I, she's out of her freaking mind, that one. All right, here. 
I'll do the S just to show you. OMG, she's out of her mind. I need a finer lead pencil. Now she's like totally thrown me off my game. Cut them out. I'm going to try and cut an S out, Eileen. And you're going to see one testy girl. Very testy girl here. And I need smaller scissors than these. I'll use the Timmy scissors because at least they've got a smaller. All right. You guys are going to be able to vote here. Do I beat the hell out of Eileen and do it her way? Or do I do it the nice tidy way? Oh, my God. These are going to be the worst letters because I am like the worst fussy cutter on the planet. Like, I'd glue them down if they were already cut out, but I don't have a die that cuts out letters except that font right there. She honestly wants me to fu fussy cut out scavenger. She's out of her mind. Look at this. I get nervous watching other people fussy cut. I vote nice stencil easy way. Brenda, I vote for you. Well, you need smaller scissors. I don't have smaller scissors because I'm not a fussy cut person. If you don't fussy cut, this is bullshit, Eileen. This is what she wanted. She wanted to get me cussing. I think she likes, I, I can't do that. That's just goddamn stupid. <laughs> do you have to spray your journal first? I don't, I'm not going to, to do the lettering. I'll spray it after it. Cussing shows the line <laughs> exactly. Yeah, no, I'll do it afterwards. Um, Z, I'll go ahead and do the white. I'm hoping my white pen is going to be agreeable and allow me to do this. That's what I'm hoping. We're going to give it a go anyway, but I have to count scavenger first. Well, this stencil the letters on different colors of paper. Pretend you are cutting out a stencil. You like to do that. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, this is definitely adult streams. Okay, so now CB. Now this is probably something I'd be more inclined to do, but they're still going to be imperfect, which will annoy the hell out of me. Black letters is so boring. I'm not going to do it in black. I'm going to do it in um, white. I'm going to do white lettering on the blue surface. So it's going to stand out and it's going to match the silver better. Have I tried the new pasta brush paint pens? No, I haven't, Z. Are they cool? I don't even use my pasta pens that much, but I probably will doing this. All right, just for the hell of it, because I got nothing better to do than entertain Eileen. I'll do the V. No, I need to do the S because that's going to be the biggest pain in the butt. And it's, I mean, you got to remember, I'm only going to be using this journal for, what, two or three months, and then it just goes on the finished shelf and comes out again to show when I do a new scavenger hunt. Oh, my God. White is so boring. All right. I'll, I'm more inclined to do it like this. I will say that. And I have a better chance of getting it accurate this way. I will say that. And if I like this, I will give in because Eileen, unlike you, when I'm wrong, I don't mind saying, wow, that was a good idea. Eileen was right. The only problem with that is it's never happened. So I've never had to say those words. Oh, this is so much better than fussy cutting. I hate fussy cutting with scissors. 
they're still not going to be perfect. If I did them with pen, they'd be perfect. Now, this is boring as hell, Eileen. All right, I've almost got the S. This could take half my flipping life. All right, let's see. And then after I get them cut out like this, oh, my God. Then I've got to glue them down. They will be arty. All right, so how about I do them in white and then I zen tangle on them or something and I make them all arty. It is all about the perfection, Miss Allie. All right. Now, is that going to make that much difference? Can you see that? I'll pull you guys way down so you can see the S. All and I don't know if it's going to focus you freak, so I'll put Bob next to it. Yes, on the Zentangle, see? And now Eileen's going, oh, now that looks nice. That's nice. <laughs> it's supposed to be progress over perfection, but everybody kept chatting. I don't know. Do, does that look, um, it does look nice. Oh, my gosh. Mary's setting me up with Eileen. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to get, oh, sorry, that's me pressing against it accidentally. I would vote for speed. See, I'm kind of, use some of your scrap papers. Well, that's what, that's what I did in here. What do you think all this is? I got to bring my camera out again. What do you think I did in here? Actually, I agree with, um, Brenda, the Zentangle um, could look really cool. Look at that, silly. It looks nice. But no, you're okay, Mary. I expect honesty. If nothing else, I want honesty. All right. Let me see what other. Well, see, this is a light color paper, so it could go on there. Color Mary. All right. Everybody vote right now. I won't put you through it. I probably scream and agonize over this while I watch some insane, stupid TV show. And these are too thin. The blue will show through. <gasps> Ugh. And I'm not going to do it out of card stock because that's too hard to cut and I've cut lead in different colors I'm looking for different colors Eileen here I've got some here's some other papers over here but I think most of it is um, we're gonna see because I've got another the S is done so all right let's look at some of these papers and see because I'm not doing it on cardstock. I got to remember what it's going to look like against the blue. That one would look good against the blue. I can't believe I'm letting her talk me into this. This is, um, oh, it's not cardstock, but it's not text weight either. So that one could look pretty. That could look pretty. That one could look pretty. All right, I could repeat some of the colors, couldn't I, Eileen? Oh, my God, I can't let, believe I'm letting her talk me into this. Purple would look pretty, too. Whatever Eileen says. <laughs> Judy, you chicken. Use random letters from a magazine. But see, then I'd have to do the whole... Um,
fussy cutting thing. And I'm that's the part I'm trying to get away from. Look how pretty this is. I love that. That's so pretty. I'm not cutting into it. Not for her or anybody else. There's red. That one wouldn't be bad. All right. I'll do another one. We'll see how intolerant. This is really pretty, too. There's some pretty stuff in here. Yes, today you can. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones i don't know why i like this so much but doesn't that look like that looks good enough to lick to me i keep it on the top because i like it so much all right let's see we've got one that's kind of green already all right let's do red next What I do with this stencil? Well, I can put this somewhere else then because it's just in the way. And if I lose any of these letters, you're going to hear like you'd have to mute me because your neighbors would be able to hear me using all the dirty words I know. And I know them all. Believe me, I know them all. Okay, this is what it's like to sit around. Sorry, I, you're not, I'm not even on camera. Um, this is what it's like when you sit and cut a stencil. That's why I shouldn't even make you guys watch this. It's so tedious. I don't mind doing it. I mind making you watch it. And if it comes out not perfect, that's when I'm going to start having issues. Because I know with ink, I could make it perfect. You know what I mean? All right, let's look at it against the background. Yeah, I don't do fussy cutting. Eileen's just torturing me right now. That's all this is about is torture. She hasn't tortured me enough. All right, there. I'm going to pull you guys down. Is it worth all that for that? Honestly. Is it worth it for that? And that little thing under there is on the cover it, that makes it look imperfect. Because I would go around this with black anyway. Do you think it's worth it? Hi, Janice. All right. Painty Girl wins. I agree, Painty Girl. That is so not worth it. Oh, you know what? I do have a stash of stick-on letters. I just don't know where they're at. I don't have a silhouette. I have a, um, what do I have, Eileen? Tell them what I have. A cuddle bug. But I don't have a, I don't think I have a die that does letters other than this one particular font. And I used it last year, which doesn't mean I can't use it again this year. But honestly, gluing down these letters, honestly, biggest pain in the ass you've ever but the sticker letters, hang on. I just thought of something. I do have sticker letters. I don't know how big they are, though.
I was thinking the sticker nation. Yeah, see these, I don't think those are big enough and there's none white. And I really kind of want white. Hi, Christy. Happy holidays to you. There you go, Kathy. I could send it to Eileen and let her cut it out for me. But I could actually, I don't know how it would look, because a lot of these in um, Sticker Nation, I'll never use the. I think it's just as easy to write out in white. I'm just going to write it out. Unless I can think of other stickers that I have. I'm not big on buying alphabet stickers. Now, back when I worked, I would have pages and pages, and I still have some, but most of the lettering I have is going to be pretty small. If you had stick it, you could die cut the letters and then add foil to it. Ugh. May or may not have a sticker addiction. I I do. I definitely do. If I well, one time I showed you guys part of my stickers and it was ridiculous. Um. Okay. Those are a kind of small. They're just over three eight. So these actually aren't smaller, that much smaller than the ones I just cut out. That just seems like so much trouble. I could use gold and there's green. I'm trying to think of see something that will stick out on that blue background. Hey, there's silver. <gasps> okay. Because I've used silver. Okay, there's silver. Let's try a silver one and see how it looks on here. It's smaller, but what the hell. We could maybe work with that. I think I just came up with the easiest way yet. Whoever thought a sticker, I love you. And I owe you because I think this is going to be. Remember, this is a short-term project. Oh, cool. Cool it with the black letters. See, Holly? I like the ones you cut out. OCD, you could outline them after they're done. Nah. All right. All right, I guess I'm going to keep cutting out letters. Crap. All right, I had nothing better to do the rest of the day. Put junk away, cut out letters. Let's get after it. We got crap we got to do. All right, what did I do with all that paper that I got out? All right, I've got SC. Let's see, A. What is wrong with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've only got seven more to do. <laughs> Jesus. This better look good. That's all I say, Eileen. Now I put all those papers away. They got to be colors that are going to stick out. Show up real good. Where's that yellow? That will show up good. It's that yellow piece. I liked it. <sighs> All right. Those are the pieces I'm using. And I'll erase the um, graphite. Can you guys see? Or did I get off camera again? Do hunt instead of scavenger. It's shorter. <laughs> it seems. Penny girl, you're like me. Uh, it won't take that long if I just get after it and get it done. Right? 
Now, this is the point at which it would have been yet better to use a sans serif typeface so I don't have to cut around all those little doohangies hanging off the letters. I'll be happy when I'm halfway done. And this A, man, it's so skinny. Ah. Oops. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe Mary sided with Eileen. That's what I can't believe. And if I hate it, I'll change my mind anyway. All right. I like the A because it stands out better. I would slice up my damn stencil. <laughs> Oh, after it's done, I'll probably go, oh, I'm glad I let him talk me into it because I'm a big sap. I can't say no to Eileen. What is wrong with me? I could say no to anybody else on the planet. Now, this looks like, oh, well, I'll do this one next. S-C-A-V. V will be easy. Or I should have picked out bigger letters. Maybe that's what I should have done. But then it wouldn't fit on the book. I should have cut the middle out first. That I know. Eileen, did I ever give you any indication at all that I liked you? Because if I did, i take it back. There's V. It's okay. I didn't jack it up too bad. Mary's probably sleep deprived, probably because she's up streaming in the middle of the night. <clears throat> I get up in the morning and it said it showed, you know, I get a notification that Mary's on. And I go and she's already been on and gotten off. It's like, holy cow, what time does she do that? The E is going to be tricky. Hey, Eileen, you got any more bright ideas? Some of those are pretty, pretty small. There we go. Come on. There we go. I can't believe I didn't rip its little legs off. 
I will think about some more and tweet them to you. Yeah, I'm sure you will. All right, I had the V here. Where'd it go? That's the problem here. Now I'm going to start losing this stuff. S C A V E. Okay, this is looking okay. I'm going to do the next one in red out of the same red I used before because it's looking cool. I can't believe I'm doing this still. And there's people sitting out there going, why don't you just get on Amazon, buy the damn dye? I would use it exactly one time. That's another thing I learned when I was cutting stencils. For whatever reason, um, I cut more accurately, accurately when I'm pulling the knife toward me. Why is that? But same thing with drawing. not taking as long as I thought actually oh I just cut the little leg off the end oh my bad my bad I'm gonna start over I did that oh. my bad that's what I get for not paying attention Okay. This is where I cut wrong before. Okay. I think I stopped in time that time. And you guys wonder why I'm insane? You can thank Eileen for that. All right. End's done. Even though I screwed it up one time, we got it right the second time. Just wait until you carve an entire stamp and gouge the eye out. Oh, Mary, that would just make me crazy. Oh. And I, I have carved my own stamps, but oddly enough, I don't really enjoy it that much. Um, I need the yellow for it to stand out. Or if I put this down and misspell scavenger. Now that would drive me crazy too. But that's probably something I might do. You've been carving a lot of stamps, huh, Mary? Um. 
I've done it a few times. Stamps are so damn easy to buy. <laughs> That's my problem. Oh, you can buy one. And believe me, I have. Someday we should do a walk through my stamp drawers. Only Eileen would make fun of me for all the stamps that I have. Most of them my mother bought, I think. But yeah, I have a ton. All MG. Don't use them much anymore like I used to. I still love them, though. I very love my stamps. That's really close. We'll see how it goes. Oh, don't come apart, you little turd, until I can get you glued down. I'm going to start over. I started full force and carved December. Oh. Yeah, you have way more tolerance for that than I do, for sure. All right, I'm going to do the G one more time because it was my bad. I pulled its leg off or it's whatever you want to call it. The skinny parts I need to cut a little bit thicker, I think. Now that I'm almost done with the whole word, I figured these little tricks out. I do the outside first, or the outside last. You have a lot of patience for stamp carving, Mary. I've watched you do it a ton of times. Now, see, I could sit and cut a stencil like this all day. But this I find tedious and annoying. Probably because it, it's so much work for so little whatever, you know. Like if I have a stencil and I spend an hour or so cutting it, no big deal because I'm going to have it forever. I think that's everything. Pull its little guts out without pulling its leg off. Come on. One little hang thing. Ugh. I'll show you all the letters here in just a minute. All right, I'm going to have to do a light-colored one. Next, where is that white? Yeah, here's the lighter colored. They were fun. I was surprised I got all of them painted. All done already? Nope, I'm not done yet. I've got an E and an R left to do. Seeing which part of the paper I like the best. This is insane. It better look good, Eileen. That's all I got to say. And I honestly, you guys, when I'm all done here, I want to be able to say, oh, I'm glad I did that. I'm not hosing when I say that. And then before the next time, I'll go buy the dye. <laughs> not kidding.
All right. Look at the E popped out of there really easy. R is all I've got left. <gasps> Hanging chads. All I've got left is an R. I wonder what color I wanted it. I think I want it. Hmm. Because I've used all the colors twice now. I'll go back, I guess, to that, that kind of aqua colored green. Because I like it. And you guys can't even see up close the actual interesting portions of the letters or the painting papers, you know, because it's so small. I can. If it comes out, I'll post a picture good. Probably best if you're ever going to do this, which I'm sure none of you are because you're not as crazy as me and Eileen would never make anybody else but me do this crazy crap. Um, save your straight lines for last. <laughs> I just learned that. I think they're actually a little better than I expected. Here we go. Let's give it a look. I'm not going to do hunt. It's just going to say scavenger. That's it. Okay? About time. Are you kidding me, Eileen? Eileen, you are so lucky you're not sitting across the table from me because I swear to God, whatever I had in my glass, or if I thought my fist would hit you, I think I'd hit you or throw something on you right now. After I get them glued down, I'll erase the um, graphite. All right, you guys, get ready to vote. And tell me if you think that was worth it. All right, I'm going to look in the screen and see. Now that comes the OCD to line them up perfectly. Why wouldn't I line them up perfectly? Would you have me do it where the S is over here? Oh, now look at this. You'd have them going every which way. 
I'll let you guys vote on that too. I don't really give a crap. Where all the letters are kind of cattywampus. Tell me what you like. This is popular demand. What did um, Brenda say? Looks nice, but the R on the back, so someone has to hunt for it. That's actually a pretty darn good book. Now that's an oaky word. <laughs> Scavenger? Okay, Z saying straight. I would just glue the damn... Okay, now look at her. Now she's getting impatient with me. Okay, I vote straight. I would have used a pen. Thank you, paint girly. <laughs> I will go ahead and outline them in black or something. I'll give them a shadow or something. Outline them in white or something. Okay, CB saying crooked. Somebody else said cattywampus. However you like. Um, I. Yeah, Janice, you should probably... Um, talk to her about the ice that she's standing on. Cricket is best in a circle. Okay, Imelda. You need to like, just say no to crack. Cricket. All right. That's good because um, I might take the R off and put it as a prompt that you guys have to find the R. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Now, I can't believe that I'm going to have to do this, but I'm going to have to use, like, a glue stick to stick them down. But you have beautiful variation that you would spend hours to get with a pen. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go down like that, but I'm going to do it uneven oh, because... Yeah, I've got just about enough time left in this stream. Now watch, I'm going to rip one of the arms off or something. However they go down is how they're staying. That is that. Oh, get back there. I know you have to have glue on you. You were stuck on a glue stick, you little dork. Um, after I spray this, I might go over it with a um, coat of matte medium. In fact, I probably will um, just because of the amount of handling that I know it will ultimately get. And then I know everything will stay where I put it. I almost ripped the leg off that one. That's why I'm going to have to go over it with matte medium. Make sure all those little hangy do stay on there. After all this, you might have to do one of the scavenger. Well, of course you should, Mary. Oops. 
it'll be fun. And it doesn't take too much time. I mean, you can put as much or as little time as you want in it. It's pretty mindless, but some of my pages from past scavenger hunts, I've actually had so much fun doing like the piano keyboard. That one was just fun. I just like doing it. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at that. I almost pulled that off. Uh. Come on, don't you tear. Uh, so it happens when your fingers start getting sticky. I'm going to put the R on the front. Maybe not. I really like the idea of hunt for the R. Now let's think of something else to do with it. You're such a turd. Janet could do that German detail paper cutting. No, I couldn't, Desert Nana, because somebody would end up hurt. <laughs> Hide something else. Don't hide the R. Hide something else. Wax the sides of the left. That's a lot harder said than done, um, Imelda. Oh, this? Yeah, this is actually for um, press type. It's called a burnisher where you could burnish, you know, like press type. Um, that's like really, really old school. Yeah, nobody needs to do that anymore. So I'm going to take another vote. You guys get to decide. Um, that's so much better than dumb black letters. I wasn't going to do dumb black letters. I was going to do smart white letters, Eileen. <laughs> Make your first page a ransom note about the R. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the R actually like back over here on the back of the journal. I don't know why that just there's something about that that it's it I like it. How many pages are you putting in your scavenger journal? I put in 15 sheets of paper folded in half, Allie. White, black, whatever. Yeah, so 15 folded in half, which makes 30 sheets, 60 pages. Don't tell us. Let us find it. Okay. All right. I'll do that. Then I'll hide the R later. And maybe that'll be the um, the giveaway question. Is not just whether or not you finished it, but where where did the R end up? That actually is a pretty good idea. Okay. I better write myself a note to find the R. Because I do show my book every time I stream. Now I've got a real challenge to figure out where to put the R, but make it reasonable enough for people to see, you know? That's a great idea, Debbie. Thanks. 60 half pages, yes. And it's eight and a half mine. Make it any size you want, you know? Um, mine is eight and a half inches this way by five and a half this way. So I folded it the 11 inch way and it's eight and a half inch tall. And my cover is just slightly larger than the actual book. But by the time 
you um, get all your pages in it. See how it gets kind of bulky and fluffy. And the one before this was even worse than this. So that's why I don't mind leaving a little bit of hang on the cover. Put it in a small baggie to keep it safe. Yeah, I will I have those little tiny baggies. I will definitely be finding a place for the R. I know exactly, Eileen. Eileen, I, you have no clue where I want to put that R. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's 3 o'clock. Did anybody say they were streaming after me? Sometimes Shauna does. Debbie's off today, but Debbie streamed yesterday, so I don't know if she is interested. Has anybody stepped up and said, pick me? What day do you stream? I stream every Monday um, at 1 o'clock Eastern. And then sometimes an impromptu. So, <clears throat> like Eileen's birthday, I'll I'll stream on Eileen's birthday because I, for whatever reason, I'm just a sap. I'm a sap. Not to mention, I love her. Okay, you get off at four, which is just here in a little while, 4.30 Central. Okay, Eileen, say and Shauna. Shauna's going to stream at 4.30 Central, which is an hour and a half from now. And if you're new and you don't know Shauna's um, channel, click on the three little dots to the right of her name. And it will take you to her channel. Oop, I got to glue that one down a little better. Um, yeah, it'll take you to her channel. You can subscribe and click notifications because Shauna streams on weekends and then one evening a week. I don't remember which evening it is. That hiding that R in the book is a good, good idea. So y'all are going to have to pay attention when I show it. <laughs> That's dirty pool right there, man. Okay, so before you see me tomorrow, I will have um, Matt mediumed it and gotten it all done. So thanks for booting, ass, booting out the troll, Eileen. You're exhausted. You need a nap, Eileen? You have no idea. I'm going to probably go take a drink now. I'm going to do a test run on the drinking with or dancing with wenches. I'm glad you were here, Mary. It was fun. So, all right, you guys. I will see you tomorrow at whatever time I come on. 10.30, 10, 10, 11, 10, whatever. I don't know when I'm on. I'll find out with when, though. Does anybody have a link for jeans? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Does... um. Shauna's going to stream at 4.30 Central, an hour and a half from now, Painty Girl. And then I don't know if anybody else. Yeah, but Shauna's coming on next. So I'll try and get over there. I don't have too terrible a mess to clean up today. It's reasonable. And Eileen, I promise I will get your journal in the mail. I'm going to address it right now. And I'm going to send you some trash. All right, you guys. Thanks again. I will see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Adios.